As play continues, there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of as play goes on. One of those is timeouts. You see the timeout button, and you can see that there are several X's, but there's still one remaining timeout. If a team should request a timeout, you tap the timeout button. You can see that the spikers, since they have no timeouts, have a grayed out button. The bumpers still have one available timeout. So if the bumpers have requested a timeout, then you can tap that button, submit the timeout, and the 30 second clock will begin. This will indicate how long the team has until they must come out of the timeout. Let's say that they finish early, and so we can skip the timer rather than let it run out. You can now see in the timeout button that all timeouts have been taken, and if someone else were to try to request one, you would see that you would not be able to grant that, and so you should inform the R2 that, that neither team has a remaining timeout because that would mean that it would be time for an improper request. The other thing that you should be paying attention to is the number of substitutions and who is being substituted for. Let's take a look at, at the, play on the, the players on the left side. If I want to make a change, first of all, you can see the count of the number of substitutions at the bottom of the court. The team on the left has used 11 substitutions, so they only have one remaining. If I tap a player, you'll see there's only one player available to be subbed in for that player because eight and six had already subbed for one another earlier in the set. If I cancel that substitution and look at a different player, you'll see that there are no remaining available substitute options, so four would not be able to come out of the game using a regular substitution. Let's go ahead and let's substitute six for eight. If I wanted to make a different substitution, you'll see that there is now a red 12 there, indicating that that team has no remaining substitutions. If I tap one of their players in an effort to make a substitution, you'll see that the screen will say no substitution options available because the substitution limit has been reached. Again, you should inform the R2 that the team is out of substitutions and that substitution should not be allowed. 